guys, so I'm actually playing around with this DSLR right now because I actually just fixed it, I think. Um, so hopefully this works. But as I was cleaning, I saw this and I was like, oh wow, I remember this. It's so pretty and like so comfortable. And then I realized it kind of reminded me of something that Rose wore. Sorry, my head's itchy. Ugh of the outfit that Rosé wore when they were performing Don't Know What To Do. It was like her blue striped dress. And I was thinking, I probably have a lot of things in here, aside from the videos that I had done in the past, that I could recreate or inspired Blackpink outfits again. Um, so I thought I would do that before I packed up. This time, I'm really just gonna have to wing it because I'm gonna be using the things I haven't packed up yet, the things that are already in my closet. So wish me luck. Okay, so I already have this picked out for Rosé's outfit. And I think she was wearing a white top under, so I'm going to have to find a white t-shirt. This box is just, okay, everything under all of this stuff. Pepper. Everything under this stuff is pretty much clean and folded and stuff. I just dug under and I remembered I had packed this yesterday. It's this white, um, fitted crop top from ASOS. I actually bought this in college from a girl on campus because we had like this Facebook group where you could um, buy and sell each other's stuff. So I bought this from her for like five bucks. Okay, so I'm thinking something like this. Ugh. Okay, so this is the outfit. I'm gonna wear some white sneakers, but I think it's pretty close, um, very simple, and actually this romper is so comfortable. I'll try and link something similar because I got this a long time ago from Urban Outfitters. And I think the key point is the fact that it's blue and stripes and it has kind of like this dressy silhouette even though it's a romper. So I think it really works as kind of the inspired look for the outfit. Although kind of looking at it on myself and then looking at it on her, um, I kind of look like I'm going to third grade. <laughs> but anyways, I already started this video, so I'm gonna try and finish it. Let's move on to another one. Okay, ah, this. This I thrifted actually quite some time ago, I think in March or February, and I never got a chance to wear it. It's this black, um, kind of like blazer dress, I guess you would call it, with a bunch of buttons running down. And I remember getting this and loving the way it would it fit, but I just had nowhere to wear it to because I don't I don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this is gonna work. So Jenny wore a dress similar to this, and the only reason I remember this is because I thought she looked really beautiful, and it just popped into my head just now. But she wore a dress similar to this for an event for Hera, the makeup brand that she's the face of or partnering or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna try and make this work. I only have three pairs of shoes that are, that are not boxed up, so sorry if the shoe choices are very limited, but I'm gonna wear this and then some black boots and I will show you. Okay, you guys, so this is the dress. Um, sorry, you can't really see it in this mirror, but insert clip of me wearing it in bright light. So this dress I thrifted and it's actually from Loft um, and I just really love the way it fits. You can tie this string in the front or in the back, but I just did it in the front because I thought it looked a little nicer. But I'm also wearing these black boots from Zushu um, that I thought would go well with this dress slash they're the only pair of black like heel things that I have left. So that's the only thing that's gonna go with this to make it look kind of fancy and elegant like the way Jenny was wearing her dress. But yeah, I thought this was a pretty close match. Um, now that I'm putting it on, this is definitely something I could wear casually. I don't know why I thought I could only wear this um, formally. So yeah, I'm really glad I tried it on. I'm really glad I showed you guys. Um, I know that this is thrifted and a lot of these items might not be in stock anymore, but I will link things similar down below if you guys are curious. So hopefully that helps. So for the next two, I'm gonna do casual outfits because the first two were like stage slash promotional wear that I don't know, maybe their stylist made them wear. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna do casual outfits next to kind of balance it out. So this one is Lisa, and I will have these pictures um, either in the video or I'll link them down below. Sorry, I'm honestly kind of winging this video, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna show you guys these, but um, this is the screenshot I took of Lisa. She's wearing jeans, sneakers, a black hoodie, beanie, and glasses. 
I don't have a beanie, so I'll replace that with a cap. Um, yeah, okay, I think I can make this work. Just gonna wear the jeans that I had on before because these are actually perfect. And then she was wearing a black hoodie, so I have this one from Core Limited, and it says, Kamsamnida on the back. It's actually really, really cute. All right, my hats were here. I'm assuming I put them in here. Crap. All right, well, let's do it for the video, I guess. <laughs> okay, I couldn't find the hat, but I did find the glasses. So let's just wear these. Sorry, they're a little dirty. And also they're not real, so they're very reflective. Okay, so I am wearing these glasses, fake from Urban Outfitters. And then I'm wearing a hoodie with jeans and white sneakers. I think these jeans are super on point because they look very much like hers with the kind of flared ends cropped and then they're distressed at the edgings. And then the oversized hoodie from Cory Limited, like I said, and then white sneakers to finish off the look. Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated I couldn't find the hat. Also, I do own a beanie, but I actually, um, uh, put it in my friend's backpack when I was in New York and I haven't gotten it back and I keep forgetting to get it from him um, But that would have been so good for this look, but <sighs> But anyways, let's move on to the next outfit because I actually really have to go walk a dog soon Also, by the way, if you're looking for a black pink closet uh, Information um, or if you just like seeing where they got their clothes um, in a nice convenient area there's a Instagram called Black Pink Style that I use, and that's usually where I look whenever I think of these kinds of videos or do these kinds of videos. Um, but anyways, this is the next outfit. She is Jisoo, and she's wearing a blazer with a white graphic tee, black jeans, and white sneakers. And I specific, <laughs> and this outfit's really cute. Oh, she's wearing a bucket hat? No! <laughs> I sold my bucket hat. Okay, it's fine. And I also have no idea where my hats are, but. Anyways, I'm going to do from the neck down. <laughs> I chose this outfit because she's wearing the blazer and that blazer is a little bit similar to this one. So we're gonna try this one. Okay, so we're working with this blazer and then we're gonna get some black jeans. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are not the jeans I'm looking for. Oh, I found them. Okay. Okay, so they're these black skinny jeans. For a white graphic tee, I'm gonna wear the one from the beginning of the video that I was just wearing today. It's inside out, but a white graphic tee, and then I'll wear my white sneakers and we should be good. Wow, I really feel like I gained some weight. I don't know. If you guys are looking for black skinny jeans, the Topshop Joni jeans are really good. They're really stretchy and they're just, so freaking comfortable like I hate very stringent jeans but these are very very stretchy and very smooth they're not like a hard fabric or an itchy fabric okay so this is the outfit my Topshop Joni jeans I'm gonna wear white sneakers then I have this blazer and um, this is from Daba Girl I got it like two years ago and then this graphic tee that I got from Yes Style her says Beatles on it um, but the one I actually had that from the very first video that I did for Jenny and I think I sold it um, <laughs> That would have been really good for this outfit. But anyways, um, it's this graphic tee, which I think is really cute. It's from Yes Style. It's a little bit too oversized to tuck in, so I just left it a little bit out, but it's okay because the blazer will cover it. But yes, this is the outfit. Really, really comfortable. Um, this blazer seriously makes any outfit just look 10 times better, I feel like. Also, a lot of you guys ask me who my uh, bias or whatever is in Blackpink, and this is a really annoying answer, but I really, really genuinely like all of them um but i think that i relate to lisa and jisoo the most so if i had to choose it would be them because i feel personality wise a little bit more connected to those two but um i really like all of them to answer your question Okay guys, so those were four Blackpink inspired looks this time, all the members in one video. Um, I hope that you guys liked it. Uh, it was quite a challenge. That was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I literally picked up that blue romper this morning and was like, oh, that kind of looks like this. 
let me just try and wing this whole video. So, but anyways, I hope you guys had fun watching this. Um, I'm actually going to be in LA in June for a whole month. So I'm really excited. Um, I will have some stuff pre-filmed because I'm not sure how filming is going to be when I get there and stuff. Uh, so I want to make sure I have stuff ready for you guys, um, including this video. <laughs> anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.